we went to Sukhothai, Thailand. So it was a lot of traveling and a lot of layovers. And there was a children's home that was established there about three, four years ago by um, a family by the last name of Norton. They have a bunch of kids there who have like different situations and their parents can't take care of them or just won't take care of them. So the Nortons take them in. And so our role while we were going over there was twofold. We wanted to build a home on the, the near side of the campus where most of the children were actually in the dormitories so that a staff could be closer uh, for supervision. And then we also wanted to build a playground because in Thailand there are not many opportunities for playgrounds to be built since they don't have access to the same types of materials. They would always come to us and ask, what are you building? What is this? And when we would say a playground, they didn't know what a playground was. We have so many uh, playgrounds here in America and it's like, we take those playgrounds for granted and it's like, oh yeah, there's a playground there and there's a playground here. When the kids were um, playing on it, it just made me feel so happy that they actually enjoyed and appreciated the uh, work that all of us did to get that playground up and running. We did a VVS there and they didn't care if we messed up. They, they loved it. They loved watching us sing and just like jump around and have fun and interact with the songs. For VBS, we did that after we've been working eight hours all day in the hot sun. And honestly, it surprised me that I was able to have that much energy after working that much. So I feel like God really used me and he gave me the extra amount of strength to really uh, witness to those kids. We've been through a lot of crisis here at AAA. Um, we lost a student, it was two months to the day while we were on that trip that was very hard for many of the students. They had a difficult uh, time. There was this one day I was having, it was like a really bad day. So I was trying to work on what we were working with, but it was Friday and I like couldn't really do much lifting of anything anymore. And I was trying, but I couldn't. And I kind of just sat down by myself to try to calm down. There was uh, another little girl, Awa. She kind of, she sat with me and then she like saw that I was crying. So she'd give me hugs and she gave me flowers, and then I just followed her around, and then I ended up hanging out with the kids that day. That really bad day, they just kind of like grabbed me by the hand and took me to do a bunch of these random things, and it made me feel so much better. Those kids, they taught me that through whatever you may be going through, there's people around you that care. There's people that will stay with you and people that will love you. Those kids mean everything to me because they just changed my way of being and my point of view completely. They made me look at life a different way. They just didn't make me look at life like, oh, it's just another day, let's just get this over with. They made me look at it like, you have this opportunity, go for it, take risks, do everything. Whenever we have the chance to help, we should help because you never know, that little little cloth, that little rag, those little shoes for a kid or even for an adult, those can go a long way. They've each gone through their own really bad thing and probably more things than any of us have. And they still are happy. The happiest kids I know, I know. I came back and I was like, I miss their joy and their smiles. Every single time there's, there's just a group of people who want to come back over and over again. I would like to go back and volunteer there. And I'd like to take a gap year after I graduate and go back to like help. I would just like want to go on another mission trip. Like it affected me to where like, ooh, this was like really good experience and I would like to have this happen again. Truly, truly, this has been my first mission trip. Cause before I wasn't really like, oh, mission trips, like let's go. And, but now I'm like, okay, wait a minute. This is not actually all that bad. And who knows, I might actually do that full-fledged as one of my careers. I'm always um, looking for an opportunity to go um, minister to people. I would for sure be going on more mission trips and I'd recommend everyone to go on at least one in their life. You can't really witness to others until you've kind of had that experience with yourself, like you need to have that certain connection. So I feel like in the process of me trying to witness to others, make an impact on others, they made an impact on me the way I saw them 
interacting with each other. I feel like I got closer to God in that type of way.